Okay, here we are back in Paddington Station in London. And there are probably quite a few ways of doing this. I'm, this is, I don't know, this is definitely not the best way. But I'm just going to talk today about how to create a lower thirds title on this. So the first thing I'm going to do is do a new item. And I'm going to do a color mat in this case. I'm going to do it the width of the frame because we're not going to use the full width, but I'm going to do it the full width of the frame. I'm going to say I want a height of about 200. 200 pixels is a fairly good height, I find, for HD frames, full HD frames. I'm going to make it black. And we'll just call it black for now. Let's bring it into our timeline and you can see. I Just zoom in a bit on there. You can see that there it is sat right at the top. I don't want it there for now, so I'm going to drop the position of it down to where I actually want to use it. And now I'm going to initially drop it off screen as well by changing the position that way. Now I'm going to add two keyframes here. Uh, sorry, just one keyframe on position. I don't need, uh, don't need one on scale. So just click on the position there to add a keyframe, and then I'm going to move it across a little bit. I don't know how long. Just try it like that. We can always change it. And I'm going to bring it back into frame at this stage. So I'm going to just move it across to about there. But that's it's up to you, really, how you do that. And I want this to be a fairly nice movement. The start of it doesn't matter too much because it is probably going to be off the screen for that beginning motion, beginning of the motion. But this one does. So I'm going to write on here, do temporal interp uh, interpolation. And I'm going to do ease in. Remember, it's easing into this keyframe. So how's that look? Not too bad. It's quite, it's fairly quick, but slows down a little bit at the end. We could make finer adjustments to that, but I'm going to leave it like that. So I'm going to have my bottom, my um, bar coming in. And now I'm going to change the opacity of it slightly as well. I don't want it at 100%. I just want it about like that. I've also got my logo here, which I'm going to dump on top too. And it's massive at the moment. So I'm going to click on that, drop the scale down on there, and maybe put that in the uh, bottom left hand corner. That might still be a bit too big, but uh, that's fine for now. And roll this up. I haven't got much space on my timeline here because I'm doing my. Let's have a look. When do I want to actually bring that in? So I want to put bring that bring that in and then fade this up like this. That's good enough. That's fine. It's not, you know, it's not wonderful, but it's okay. It's quick and dirty, this, remember. <laughs> Uh, title, now I can add my title. Now we've got everything in the position where we want it to be. My title screen's moved off my capture window. So let's add the title onto here. And we'll do it something like that. Um, and I'm going to reduce the size of this part, this this font here, this bit. And I'm going to change the font of the whole thing. So click on there and select and go to here. Uh, go to one of my favorites, which is um, Lato or Ladel. I don't know how you pronounce that. And I'm going to have to change the, all the sizes relative again, aren't I? Because that is, yeah, that's kind of messed up. Okay, so that font is actually bigger than the other font, relatively speaking. So, uh, so I'm going to just have to redo that sizing slightly. Increase my kerning, because I like it. And then go back to my text thing here. And decrease the size on this bit. And increase my leading. 
I had no idea. I always thought this was called leading. But someone pointed out to me in a previous video that this was called leading because of some parts on a printing press. Hey, I, what do I know about printing presses? I've only ever used this sort of stuff in, <laughs> in software like this. So uh, shows my lack of knowledge in that area. I can live with that. There we go. I think that looks okay. Now, if we go out of here and bring our title into our main part here, we can probably fade that up either after or again, I'm really short of space. Sorry about this. I have to squish this up to here. So you can see what I'm doing. Oh, if you're wondering what I'm doing here with the uh, with the keyframes on the type directly on the timeline here, look at this video uh, because I do go into how to create that and just kind of it's pretty easy, but um, just just thought I'd mention that because people often ask me that question on videos. Uh, so I don't know where I'm going to put this one, but let's just see how that how that plays. This is slow motion footage, by the way. It's just something I was looking at on a previous video. I'll do it on f full res. Actually, it should play okay. Oh. Okay, now this this is a this is a premiere thing. This won't render actually won't render like this. It's actually a bit annoying. I thought I'd fix this actually, but clearly I haven't. Right, okay. I don't know I don't know why, but it seems to be if I put this on full it, it so okay, I'll leave it at quarter and just play it back to you. Right, so there we go. We got our title coming on there. And let's drop off the t maybe we can start moving the uh the bar off now. And as we start to move it off, we'll drop the text down. So uh let's do that now. Let's go to our bar here and put another keyframe in. So we can just tap this button here to add a keyframe at this point and move it across. And we want this temp uh, temporal, in uh, temporal interpolation on this one to be ease out. And then we can add another one by just moving the bar, actually. So we move it out like this and take it off the screen. It's just, yep, perfect. That's good. And as we start to move it off here, let's just zoom in on this. As we start to move it off here, I'm going to fade it down, the text down exactly at this point. And, I, you know, because the logo is quite bold, I could leave that on afterwards. So it kind of wipes, the, the way the text fades down there at that moment, it kind of looks like it wipes it off, but it doesn't, you know, you, that you probably really need to start doing uh, masking and uh, composites in After Effects to do that sort of stuff. This is, you know, that's not what we're really doing here. But it looks good enough, and we could leave the logo up for a second and then drop that off afterwards. So there we go, just a couple of layers to do it. And let's just take a look. Yeah. That's pretty good. There we go, how to uh, create a pretty quick and dirty lower third title together with a logo and some nice text in uh, directly in premiere pro in the timeline there you go i hope that is useful if you've got any questions or you like that then subscribe to the channel and um, thanks for watching bye for now